Hi, welcome to the new video. Um, this time I'm painting a piece of leather. I got many requests how to to work on this material. So this is a part of something I took out of the garbage. It was a backside of a seat before. So first I'm using a thinner solvent to rub down the, the surface of the leather to get rid of silicone or fat, which is like the natural born enemy of the color and I'm um, painting now a new skull I'm using solvent based colors uh, which are from House of Color as uh, the transport colors and this is it's called in Germany it's called uh, Ein K 1K based colors, so there's one component. And that's black and white, it's out of the uh, car painting series, I think. So this is an opaque white. Now I'm switching to the opaque black. It's the same one component car painting color. Um, solvent based and all the other colors that the uh, the colors are a house of color candy colors also on a solvent base so I'm adding a little purple to this because uh, afterwards like as you can see on the side um, uh, I'm doing like a, a brownish color for the, the skull so you can use um, the purple for the shades because it turns into a nice dark brown when I mix it with the light brown also can use this for, for skin tones. So then again I'm using the opaque black to, to not spray everything in this in this stencil but the parts I think should be darker than the rest. So now I'm using the light brown freehand and this light brown I mixed myself so it's like 90-95% yellow and a little bit of purple and um, it's also I use it for for skin tones so you can um, make it darker with purple or magenta and for me it's like the perfect combination for skin tones so this is the purple again I'm doing a little bit for the background that it gets darker around the, the skeleton. And this is a red. So as you can see with the transparent colors you can mix directly on the surface and uh, you get a lot of different color variations depending on how white or light the background is. So these are some skeletons for the background. So therefore I'm using the purple so to get the skeletons a little bit darker. And then I'm doing some freehand flames or mist or smoke or what you want to call it. So the main thing in this picture is the the skeleton with the hands and, and not the background. So if you if I'm finished in two minutes for the background, it's okay. So this was um, a yellow, and now I'm, I'm using the red to create like flame colors, like the yellow, orange, and red tones. 
now I'm using the white again, but now I'm a little bit closer to the surface so I get final lines. And then I'm, I repeated the first step, but this time with lighter colors, so this time I'm using the light brown again. And I'm using the red again. So as you can see, you can get really a lot of different shades of this color. So then I'll repeat it again. This time I'm going even nearer to the surface to create like this flame shapes. So now it's the last stencil. This is the pure white. Um, I prefer not to spray the whole uh, stencil with one color. I'm concentrating on light sources. So I, I, for example, the fingernails or the teeth, I try to make lighter than the rest, so that they pop out a little bit more out of the the image. And then using the light brown again to color in a little bit of the white so it looks a little bit more natural and you always can put this stencil back in this is some free and for the glowing eyes you can leave it like this uh, but also you can put some color to it sometimes it also looks nice for example if i had used like a blue green or something like this, then um, the eyes really pop out because it's a different color in this whole picture. Okay, and then you, as you can see now, um, you can put the stencil back in to to do the same as before. You put you well, you choose some some parts of the stencil that you make lighter than the rest so it draws the attention of the eye so that's um, actually the painting and now I'm, I'm showing you that it's really waterproof the whole picture I fanned it up by accident by dropping paint on my leather shoes and I can't get anything to get the paint off the shoes. So here comes the water and I'll rub it into the fabric and you see nothing happens to the painting even if I rub it so it, it stays on there and really with bright colors. So hope you enjoyed it and um, see you next time. Bye.